So we're going to talk about how do you know what's organic? How do you know if it's organic, rather? So we're grabbing here right now a couple of products. We have some kale chips. So kale rather than potato chips. And you will see that it says organic on it. Every organic product should say organic on it. The other thing organic product needs is a standard. So here we have the little green box with a leaf in it, with stars. That's the European standard. It means the standard at which this product is certified is to the European standard, and below that is the certification number. So from that, you can trace it all the way back to everything in this product. So here we've got organic Danish eggs. If we grab the box, on the back we will see the logo again, the number, and here we'll see actually, and it's written by, importer certified by, here you will see actually the certification of the company that imported it. Moving on, I will show you another product which has got biodynamic certification on it. So this product, tomato paste, tomato puree, Certified organic by the European standard to the European standard. There's the control body's number. You will see this product also has Demeter. And Demeter is biodynamic standard. So that's the best standard, the highest rating we can get. That's not only organic, it's organic but also biodynamic. So what does biodynamic mean and what does organic mean? So organic, if I would say it very simply, would be growing the produce without using chemical fertil fertilizers, chemical pesticides, um, keeping it natural, so there's no artificial process, any, no artificial um, chemicals used in the growing process. Then from the growing process, you go to the storing process. Again, no chemicals. So you wouldn't use fertilizer, you wouldn't use pesticide. When you store, to keep it fresh, you wouldn't use sulfur dioxide. When you pack or process the product, you wouldn't use preservatives or you wouldn't use artificial preservatives. So what you could do is you could use salt as a preservative, but you can't use um, sodium benzoate as an antifungal, for example. What is biodynamic? Really quickly, biodynamic would be organic, but in harmony with nature. So you wouldn't, for example, grow blueberries in a climate that was wrong and put them in plastic tunnels. You could, for example, certify organic blueberries grown in plastic tunnels using fish meal as a fertilizer. Now, you wouldn't want to catch fish, use it as a fertilizer, because that, that would be depleting our fish resources. So, in biodynamic, you would farm in harmony with nature. You would plant blueberries where blueberries would grow, so you wouldn't need the tunnels. You'd plant them in season, and you wouldn't use fish meal. You would compost. So, from the same farm, and here again, not from another farm, from the same farm, you would get manure from the cows, you would get uh, grass straw, and you would get cuttings from the blueberry bushes and stuff. You would compost that, and that compost would go into the soil. We call that closed loop agriculture. So everything is on the farm, and it goes in a loop. The produce section now. In the produce section where the product is not packed, it's very hard to tell what's organic or not. Looking at an orange or, or a carrot, you couldn't tell it. Where the product is packed, you will have the same logos again. In this case, you really have to depend on your retailer, that your retailer is doing everything right. In, this, in, in Organic Foods and Cafe, you'll see here we talk about biodynamic, and we've labeled which products are biodynamic. The cucumbers, the carrots are biodynamic. The others are all organic. If I give you this banana, and tell you it's conventional. I give it to somebody else, tell them it's organic. They couldn't tell. Probably if you ate it, it tastes a lot better if it was organic. But uh, you can't tell. It depends on how the year's season was, how the climate was, how the farmer farmed it. It depends on too many things.